Hi, it is Monday morning and I just wanted to do a quick video to say hi and to give an update. I know it's been a long time. Um, it's been since November actually, so that's pretty bad. Uh, November, Sully turned one. We had a fantastic party. It was Backyard Against themed and we can't thank everyone enough for all the gifts and for helping us celebrate and it was truly wonderful so we thank you for that um, we had a nice Thanksgiving we were able to spend it with friends and then uh, Christmas came along and again we celebrated with friends we had uh, oh we had Dan's birthday party he turned 32 and uh, we were able to go out and explore a little bit while Dan was on vacation. We finally went on the trains. It was it was fun and it's a lot easier than we thought it would be. So that's going to be we we'll be exploring more on the trains and everything. I I went and got a whole bunch of maps and I think our next big trip is planned for the zoo. That's not too far away. Um uh, New Year, we were able to spend with our friends, the lawyers, went over to their house, and then um, going on now, uh, Sully, oh my goodness, Sully just keeps us busy nonstop, but he also keeps us laughing all the time. Um, he eats almost anything but he is so active that he's really not gaining any weight but the doctor's not concerned so we're not concerned uh, his favorite is still red beans and rice so uh, we have that at least once a week he also likes french fries a lot and he will never turn down ice cream so that's good oh we recently had a little bit of a scare um, some of you may have heard but um, the way the master bedroom is set up and the master bathroom is the door swings open to the bathroom, but there are cabinets or drawers right by the door. And um, so if you open the drawer, you cannot open the door. Um, I had just closed the bathroom door, but I didn't pull it hard enough for it to click. So I closed the door turned around, Sully walked in, closed the door, opened the drawer, I op I tried to open the door and it was already blocked. It, it happened that fast and we, we ended up having to call the fire and rescue team and they came and cut the door down. So uh, that was a little traumatic. I was hysterical and uh, Dan had to come from home from work and Sully had a few rough nights. Um, he he's still closing doors, but I mean, it, we watch him constantly. But you know, you can't be with him every single second of the day. Um, and he's doing well now. Uh, he what does he like to do? Oh, he loves climbing on the furniture, and uh, he also. Uh, we, we live in an apartment building, we live in a tower, and so our floor is basically a circle, and in the middle is the elevators, and so he runs laps, and he runs laps, and that's how we, we keep him occupied sometimes, or, or maybe we do it um, close to bedtime so that he really gets tired and, and goes to bed nicely. Uh, Dan is leaving for Australia this week. I am very jealous because we were supposed to go there for Christmas, but things didn't work out. But anyhow, uh, he's going to Australia for some gigs, and he just knows that he needs to bring back something really good. So, <laughs> so that, that'll be... Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he brings me back. And um, as far as me, I try to keep busy. I uh, am working out five days a week now with my friend Christine. Uh, our friend Sammy watches the kids while we do a workout video. And it, we vary and rotate the videos. 
Uh, and then with those same two ladies, Christine and Sammy, we have the one o'clock movie club. Usually um, the girls come on over to my apartment at one and we watch a movie and talk and hang out. Um, I'm still involved in MOPs, Mothers of Preschoolers. And that's a great time because um, Sully gets to play with kids his own age while I get to talk to other moms and, and it's really a, uh, we support each other and I've, I've made a fantastic friend. Her name is Nikki and, um, and I've made other friends as well. I look forward to that meeting every month. Um, uh, my ears are doing much better. My ears are better. It, it's still itchy. I, I think it's caused by like the pollution here. But uh, I've, I've basically learned to deal with it and put up with it. And we do hydrogen peroxide in my ears and stuff. Um, otherwise, health is good. And, oh, some more news um, you might have heard. Um, Mount Asama, which is 65 miles north-northwest of... Fusa, where we are, um, erupted, and on that very first day when it erupted, um, we had ash on our car, um, but we really haven't noticed anything else. Uh, uh, we didn't see the plume, and um, the skies have not been, like, really overcast at all. Um, it's, it's a little strange, like, it, the sky will be blue, but there's, like, a yellowish tinge to the light. Uh, maybe that's from from the volcanic activity, but other than that, um, oh, we went to, uh, I know it's a lot, it's been since November, I, I have to try to catch you up on something. Um, uh, we went to a murder mystery party. Um, I put some pictures of it up on Facebook. Um, our friend Steven Tess invited us. It was our first one. It was Mardi Gras themed, and I won. So, yeah, that was fun. I got a bottle of wine as my prize, and uh, we got oh, a king necklace because, you know, Mardi Gras. I put it on and said, Flavor Flav. Yeah, anyways, I'm a dork, I know. Um, we miss you all. We love you all. Feel free to call us anytime and we'll try I'll try to keep in touch better. Um, I really miss the convenience of, of, of being in the States. I mean the people here in Japan are so nice and I'm learning my way around and, and I'm learning the little phrases to, to you know try to communicate and everything. Um, um, but it's just, it, it is different, but, um, I hope and pray that all of you are doing well, you know, and we watch the news every day to see what's happening back home, and I'm, I'm scared, but I just keep praying that everyone will be okay. And we love you, and I, I, I'm really interested to see how things in America are are affecting you guys. Like, I had asked Martha, like, when the um, economy really started getting bad, I wanted to see, you know, how, how big of a um, squeeze she was feeling, and, and she said that the gas was cheap, and all the stores had sales, but that's about it, and, you know, that was a little bit, of, that was a little bit ago, so, and, and more things have happened, so I'd, I'd love to get emails or calls, and tell us how you're doing, we'd, we'd really like to know, and I'll try to do better with, um, letting you know how things are going here, and, I love technology because I get to do this long, drawn-out video for you, but um, again, we love you and we'd love to hear from you, so um, give us a call or email and picture and all that good stuff, so sayonara.